Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night. As per usual, everybody's going to... Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Watch the footwork. Watch the hand speed. No one does it like Ali. Smoking Joe Frazier, Philadelphia's finest in the heavyweight division. There's no one quite like Smoking Joe. Look at this. These fighters are so up for it. Look at that. The fighters are in the ring. It's time for the official introductions. Here's the Hall of Famer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up. High hopes for this battle between these two athletes. Nice exchange here from both men. Neither man really defending themselves. Missed him with that uppercut. So much hype surrounding this matchup. We never thought we'd get to see it again. It's Frazier Ali part four. So Ali has proved why he is the man. Ali has proved he's gone in there and beat the man that beat him. Now the two gods are fighting each other. This is that fight. Ali knows exactly what he's gonna do, but he knows it's not a pushover because Joe Frazier has no respect for him whatsoever. He just misses with that big right hand. And he misses with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Do you believe what we're seeing? These are my kind of fight. He's boxing on the edge of the ring, using the jab, using the footwork, moving left to right. It's like a bull in a matador. Why aren't they defending? He scores with that right uppercut. Nice uppercut. The most difficult punch to land clean, and he just did it there. He got out of the way of that right hook. And he fails to score with that left hook. Caught him with a heavy punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Hey! After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty... There's the bell for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. And he misses with the left uppercut.
Both men step back for just a moment. Punch, counter punch. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. We've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drama because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Another scoring shot there. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. He misses with that jab. Beautiful counter punch. That punch landed. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Nice exchange here from both men. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something? And there's the bell to start round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp, don't be a fool, don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? There's a right hand. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. Left punch. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Neither man really defending themselves. Fantastic punch. another scoring shot neither fighter you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one
simple counter shot. That was almost... On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Good left counter that lands. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them nonstop. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. These two are the perfect dance partners. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Through the left uppercut, but it misses. Which fighter will say no moss? Still swinging with nothing left. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Nice punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, we're entering days gone. I'm back. On to the fifth we go. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable or you play calm, play cool. Can 
and they figure out the combination to this safe. And wait a minute, a left hand lands. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Nice counter shot. Good right hand. Not a lot of defense here at all. Nice counter. Quick punch scores. Do you believe this? You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, there was no doubt. There's the bell for round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. And these shots, even if they land, are gonna do no damage. Nice exchange here from both men. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Lands with the right counter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Good counter right hand again. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. The courage on display here is incredible. Both men step back for just a moment. The perfect counter lands. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, that is a bit of a surprise. It ends in a draw. A draw? Ooh, listen to that crowd. Nobody's happy with that. Why? Because the build-up was ridiculous, the things that were said were ridiculous, but these two fighters were evenly matched, and this is why we've got a draw. One